Oops. <laughs> and Elka. <laughs> oh my gosh, getting phone calls. Um, <laughs> and this is live. So this is what happens. Um, we are the hustle expansion experts. We are the only ones that teach people how to get to five and six figures on the Zazzle platform. We're kind of an anomaly, but we're also just very good at what we do. And one of the things that makes us really good is that we actually treat the Zazzle platform like our own Zazzle stores as businesses. And so it's not a hobby. And because it's a business, we do a sales planning. Um, you know, we set up sales planning every year for our own stores. And that's what we do for our clients as well. And so we're inviting you here to, first of all, hear how you can sell consistently on a Zazzle platform, but it's very much tied to sales planning. And the, once you figure out that, you know, certain things sell in certain times of the year, and you may or may not have that product in your store or deliver on that niche in your store, et cetera, then you realize, oh, well, of course I can't sell every all, consistently all year long because I don't even have the products alone, the good sellers or the ones that are selling, you don't even have anything to offer, right? And that is so vital as to why sales planning is so important. Um, I think I just said that weirdly. That's why sales planning is so important because it, it shows you gaps. It shows you where, um, you know, if you're expecting a certain dollar amount and you don't actually have the options to have that much product in your store to sell, and it doesn't consistently sell very much. So you maybe have to have 10 versions of something that's addressing a niche. That's when you realize your sales planning is, um, you know, really paying off for you because mm -hmm. you're managing your inventory and you're managing when that inventory is supposed to ex or expected to sell. And it, and if you don't have it, or if you don't have products that are selling for you and some are, you have the products, but they're not selling, all of that gets addressed in the sales planning um, when you do this exercise because you're it's like a year in review, right? You're going to check out what you had happened in the past and you're going to go like, oh, well, in the summer, I never sold anything. I didn't even get a payout for three months. That's part of what you go and address in the sales planning workshop that you're going to do with us um, because you're going to go like, well, what what's the issue? Is it because I have products and they're not selling? Or is it that I don't even have anything to offer during that time? So this is so crucial and it, it's kind of like a nice little overview of what is happening in your store. And it gives you a, a full on clear understanding of why something's happening or not happening. And if it's happening, you're gonna keep going because that's strategy number five is to analyze and then do something about it. And then if that's not happening for you, but you either don't have any products or you have products, but they're not selling, then you realize, okay, well, what's my strategy for next year? Because you don't want to get up to May and realize, oh, I should have made something back in March because you have to make things two to three months ahead, right? And now you're in May and you're going like, oh, I hope I sell, I hope I sell, I hope I sell. And then you can't because you don't even have anything in your store that fits something that would sell in May, then that's why you're going to prepare ahead in November of this year so that you have all of 2025 worked out and you will get this experience of feeling so at ease that you're selling every single month consistently all year long, right? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 a, it's a joy when that happens. Uh, and then you you kind of go like, oh, Zazzle can actually be a consistent source of income for me, which is where our clients get to when they do our coaching. And that's what we experienced. We I knew exactly every month what I was going to get, which is awesome because it was my main source of income. And so I needed to know I had enough rent money or mortgage money and I had, you know, all for the expenses, et cetera. And so if you're going to run this as a business, and sell consistently all year long on Zazzle, then sales planning is your first step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sales planning and understanding the inventory as well. That goes into your plan. 
and just being said because a lot of people come from other platforms maybe and they have an idea of what they want to sell on Zazzle. There's a lot of people who you might not be aware of Zazzle and you want to maybe just start a side hustle or maybe you're deciding to shift over from Etsy, Printify or Printful, Shopify, all of those, Amazon merch maybe, and you want to now transition your business over to the Zazzle business. Well, we just had a lady who had a really successful business on Etsy. She's in our Profit by Design Academy coaching program right now. And she started out on Etsy selling invitations and was very successful on invitations, came to Zazzle and then realized that that was her reality, that she knew how to just sell invitations and then realized that just selling invitations actually isn't a lot of, well, you can earn a lot of money, but there's so many more things that you can use to expand off of that, right? Because Zazzle has over 1,500 products that you can sell. And so just because you're used to selling a certain type of product, you actually have to understand that it's quite well in your favor to have a well-rounded type of inventory and not just sell one thing, especially, for example, t-shirts too. T-shirts are a big thing. And unfortunately, Zazzle is like, Zazzle is a good market for t-shirts too, However, it's not the end all and beyond Zazzle. There's a lot more sales planning that needs to go into your plan for Zazzle because there's other platforms out there that are specific to certain product types, okay? And so if you want to expand your reach and also learn about the Zazzle platform, then you have to come into our 2025 Zazzle sales planning workshop because if you are focused on other platforms, it's a completely different ballgame when you come to the Zazzle platform. Well, it's just also, uh, I think where Jen's going with this is like opportunity, mm -hmm. which is not something that you would have had on some of these other platforms. Yes. And I think that allows you the flexibility and the, the safety net as well to be able to consistently, like you don't always get the same money from the same product and all year long. So it's really good to be able to diversify and then no matter what is in your inventory if you've stacked it properly then you're going to get a consistent income even though it comes maybe from xyz in may but you know abc in june and i think that gives you that safety net and also the ability to be flexible and maybe then start to see well could i bring those xyz products from may into june how do i sell them in june should I be selling something different in June? So I'm not just reliant on ABC in June. It's so like, that's how much involvement you want to have in understanding your inventory. And the, like, even I, I met someone on the plane uh, coming back from a, a conference and the, the person, after I explained it to them, they go like, well, just tell me which product to, to sell and what, what, you know, what sells on what, and what's the niche and how do I guarantee that I'm going to make a product uh, like a sale? And it's like, well, that's very focused in on just one grab of a cash grab. Whereas if you had a diversified portfolio, it's just like investing in stocks, then you're going to be able to wait, like always come out properly in terms of your main goal of earning per month with different products, depending on if something's trending or not trending or, you know, cho choices become different uh, in terms of, you know, should it be floral or should it be something else or should it be glitter? <laughs> People who are on Zazzle understand what I mean by that. If you're brand new to Zazzle, don't worry. It's just a trend. And if you weren't on that trend, then maybe you didn't make as much money because you had floral instead of glitter, that kind of thing. So, but if you're diversified, then you are set. Then you have hedged your bet, so to speak. And I think that's part of sales planning as well, so that you stay consistent. And this is what we want to help you understand and work, uh, get you started on working that into your um, business plan for your Zazzle store. And it'll open your eyes to understanding what you need to pad your inventory so that you can consistently make a certain amount of money every month. Mm hmm Yes. So we have a 2025 sales planning workshop that you can join. The link is in the description of this video here. It is on November 7th and 8th of 2024. And we are going to be doing our Zazzle sales plan for 2025. And you can click the link in the description to sign up and join us and claim your spot. 
And we can't wait to see you there in our 2025 sales planning workshop. And that's the only time we're doing it this year. So sign up because otherwise you've missed the boat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, very true. All right. Make sure you click the link and we'll see you on the planning and sales planning workshop. And we will see you there. Bye. Bye.